of Pokemon cards we got graded just got put into the system. So they're on the website right now, if you're interested. What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Look at all these packages that we got today. So we're going to be opening these later. Um, there's a box out here you might be interested in. We got something real cool today, guys. Yeah. It's not Pocky. This is my Pocky. We got this game. <laughs> Pokemon Box. Yeah. This is our second copy now, but this one does have the manual. The other one does not have the manual. Um, the memory well, card has a sticker on each side, okay. which is kind of interesting. It didn't come with a cable, but Adam has an extra one at home he's gonna bring tomorrow. And, and not then the big box either. We'll just replace that. Yeah, no big box, unfortunately. So There's copies. the last copy, which doesn't have a manual, and I think we're gonna lower the price because it's been sitting for a while. Uh, but we had that one at 1600. Um, this one's at 18. I think that we're gonna lower the other one to 15. But this was the first trade of the day, which was super awesome. The guy actually called on Monday and you talked to him. I did. Colton told him, yeah, we're interested. Just bring it on Thursday. <laughs> we're not doing trades anymore. Bring it on Thursday. And yeah. then I told Colton afterwards, I was like, if someone has Pokemon Box, they can come in anytime. They yeah. don't have to wait till Thursday. <laughs> but luckily he came in and he was super nice, super cool about it. And we ended up getting it. So that is awesome. And it's available now. Yeah. All right, so Pokemon Box is a GameCube title where you can store all of your Pokemon from Ruby and Sapphire onto your GameCube memory card. And it came with a cable when it came out and a memory card as well. And it's just extra storage. I don't think you get anything, but it says store up to 1,500 Pokemon, which is pretty cool if you catch that many. But, but that's literally what it is. It's just a storage, storage. box. There is another <laughs> function to it. <gasps> I've if you guys didn't know, instead of, if you don't have the Game Boy Player, you can pay $1,500 to be able to play Ruby and Sapphire only, not any of their games, but you can play it on your GameCube if you have a, a Game Boy hooked up to your GameCube through the cable. Um, it's really dumb because you have to turn on the game and then it'll be like, all right, turn off your Game Boy because it'll like load the save file or like load the game and then start playing. But every time you have to save, you have to turn on your Game Boy again, click save on the GameCube, and then it'll tell you to turn your Game Game Boy back off so you can continue playing the game. <laughs> so you can use it without the Game Boy player, but it's also very, very expensive. It is. It didn't make a lot, so but it's nice looking. It's pretty rare. I remember I could have got a completed box one for $300, and I didn't because I was like, no, that's too much. <laughs> Boy, do I regret it. Colton said he didn't like how we have him. It makes me uncomfortable. He didn't like it from that angle. It reminds Why not? me of that scene in Pulp Fiction. That's a bad scene. I'm not gonna describe it. it for you, because it's bad. I haven't seen it. It's not safe for children or people in general. I didn't know Godzilla was in that movie. <laughs> what happened to the switch um adam took it in no that's not true <laughs> i just mean? i just went and told him that and he said no we got that from a different game store's website mm, i don't <laughs> think so well anyways he said that there's proof anyways so um he was like oh it's an easy repair you just gotta replace the charge port if you don't know what you're doing this is very difficult <laughs> So this is the charge port. I was able to take it off. Wait, wait, wait. wait um, it's blurry. I'm not gonna be able to focus on that. Okay. It's too small. So the hard part about it is if you look on the board here, there's two sets of pins that you need to solder to. Why is it so freaking blurry? <laughs> okay. So not only are there the four anchor points around to make sure it's secure, but there's two sets of pins here. And you need a hot air rework station like this one or some other, oops, some other way of heating up all the solder at once so that when you're trying to take it off, it doesn't 
take the pads with it. Because if you tear the pads, you're basically screwed. Um, so I was, this is my first time actually using this and like I've seen a bunch of videos on how to repair this. I've just never been able to do it myself, um, but I did it and looks like all the pads are good, I think. Um, we'll see, uh, but I just need to clean it up and then install the new one, which is right here. Nice. Yeah. I wanted to mention real quick guys that I have filmed two pickup videos and just got them edited and uploaded onto the Sit Cooper channel. There's a link in the description down below if you would like to check that out. That is my one of my other channels that's kind of just more focused on like my personal video game related stuff. I've got some reviews up there. I have my my live streamed videos that I've done on Twitch are re-uploaded on there. Uh, a couple home vlogs and my pickup videos and or room tours will be on that channel um, instead of this one. And so I have two pickup videos. One of them is going up the day you're seeing this video on Saturday. And then the next one is gonna be going up next Saturday. So if you want to see those videos, make sure you go to the Sick Cooper channel. Like I said, link is in the description. Make sure you subscribe and those will be going up pretty soon. Let's take a look at today's trades. There's some pretty decent stuff in here. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff actually. Um, some new PS5 games we haven't had in. I haven't really heard of these either. But uh, they seem cool. Hades is always a good one. It's actually our first used copy for PS4. Um, a lot of these were ones we never had, like Death, Death Stranding. This is the director's cut. And apparently we're getting a sequel. So if you like a glorified mail delivery simulator, we got you covered. Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. Uh, this one right here, it's God of War. We weren't going to take it because Yeah, but uh, we just marked as damage, so, and I don't think it's, I mean, I think it's a pretty cheap price for it, I don't know. It has the game with it, of course, and it's got a war, so I'm sure it'll sell pretty quick. This new one as well, the ultimate edition of Red Dead Redemption. This one also VHS. Uh, I think these are part of that uh, vinyl trade from the other day. And then a lot of uh, import Sega Saturn stuff here. like a screensaver on the old Windows computer. <laughs> uh, but some of this stuff is probably decent. Virtual Fighter 2, that's the only one I recognize. <laughs> Smash, unfortunately it's a little ripped up. And for some reason, Medal of Honor Underline, <clears throat> this is $13, I think it went up from $8, and apparently there's some sold things higher, which is pretty strange, but this is a nice clean PS1 collection. Not, nothing too crazy, but Activision Classics and Crash Team Racing. I love when they do these little holographic covers. And then Colony Wars, which is complete. I guess we had one that was, another one that says like eight bucks that was not complete, but the complete uh, copy goes for a bit more. Some nice Super Nintendo here, Mortal Kombat's. People are always asking for the Mortal Kombat on Super Nintendo, so love having those. And then we got Rad Gravity. Never heard or seen that one from my recollection. And Bubble Ball is also going up as well. It's a little poor condition, but not too bad. The person that traded in this one just like did a condition upgrade and bought a super clean copy we had. So that's pretty cool. Some Pokemons, Ultra Sun and Omega Ruby. Some Switch games here. This game's really good. I still need to beat it. Uh, there's a ton of content in there. Splatoon 3, I mean, I could go on that. I could go on for hours about Splatoon 3. Uh, I won't bore you here about it, but uh, let's just say it's one of the best games of all time. Well, the online still needs work because they are making updates because they add content and for some reason they're saving up the content for three months at a time. I don't like that format. I'd rather, they used to do it like um, every week or so. But just the single player alone on this game is worth the $60 price tag of a new copy. It has like as much content as like a Mario Odyssey or a Mario Bowser's 3D, what's it called? <laughs> Super Mario 3D World Bowser's Theory. 
the single player in this game alone. I know I just said I was gonna bore you, but guys, if you're not in, in uh, multiplayer, just a single player alone is like a Mario game. It's like a Mario mixed with a Zelda game. It's incredible, it's really fun. You should play it, even if you're not into the whole competitive online scene. That's my spiel, okay? I'm done. <laughs> Some Wii games. Does anyone actually like Mario Galaxy? I think, I think Cooper said he doesn't like it. I don't like it either. I tried it a few times, it just, I don't know. It didn't click for me. Um, I'm still gonna try to beat it at some point, but not for me. I wonder if we're ever gonna get Mario Galaxy 2 on Switch. Some decent Xbox games here, actually. Kingdom Under Fire, Circle of Doom, Forza Motorsport, those ones that always sell. Uh, here over Europe, I don't wanna see that one, but people love, people always come in and ask for like uh, flight simulator type games, so it's good to have those. An Eternal uh, Sonata, it's a, is that an RPG? I think I saw something about that being an RPG, but that one always comes in and sells right away. But yeah, some actually decent stuff here in that Xbox stash. Sonic Main Collection Plus as well. I think we, uh, you know, we love having Sonic, even though Sonic's terrible. Don't, don't, um, yeah, ignore that. And, oh, <laughs> I just kind of skimmed over these two. You know, the $20 Madden 17. It's 20 bucks. I don't know why. But it's not as bad as the NCAA Football 14, which is 120 <laughs> And... I think the other week we just got in the Xbox copies of uh, 12 and 13. And I remember someone commented, people were commenting on the social media posts like, 40 bucks for NCAA football 13? And, uh, well, this is 120 and this is cheap. We I priced this down myself because uh, I don't think anyone here wants this sitting in the store for a long time. So hopefully it'll sell quick. But to end things off, a couple more Wii games here, but... Uh, I wish this came with a glove, that'd be cool. But it's fortunately the version that does not come with the glove. But we've got more Wii Zappers, some uh, refurbished PS4 controllers from a distributor. Some Joy-Cons, the last gray Joy-Con we got did not work correctly, so just got those three. And then a nice PS Vita and a beautiful new 3DS. This is the non-standard XO, the non-XL version, I mean. And these are hard to come by. Uh, surprisingly, we've seen, I feel like we've seen a lot in the past six months. But this is super clean. I tested it myself and all the buttons are tight and work good. So, and I love this wood grain. I don't know if it's actually wood, but it feels like it and it's, it's nice. And there's a ton of different cover plates, uh, especially in other regions, there's just so many for a product that existed for so little time, but love to have it in stock. And these trades today are amazing. The stack of Pokemon cards we got graded just got put into the system. Tags are printing, so they're on the website right now, if you're interested. I think I'm gonna post them on eBay as well. I think we had just showed you this last week, but we got even more guitars in today. We sold some of the ones from last week, but today we got three more Wii ones. And there's more. We still have those sealed ones up there. I think they're actually technically, the seals are broken, but they were in a storage unit. Uh, so the seals just uh, melted or whatever, but they're technically brand new. Uh, and we got more PS2 ones today. We had two of the red ones and a white wireless one, which we don't really see the wireless ones as much because they never come with like a dongle, so we don't take them because they don't have the dongles. Wasn't there also a 360 one, Colton? There was a 360 one, but what happened uh, to it? the the second button on the mm -hmm. on the guitar was stuck down, so I can only play the red note. Sad. I blame Kyle. Me too. But we got lots of guitars in for people. Now they just gotta come buy them. <laughs> We have a bunch of packages that came in today. I'm not gonna film opening them all because there's too many, but I will show you guys everything that's inside. And the first one is Championships World Class Soccer. Got this for my collection off of eBay. This was actually partially purchased with an eBay gift card that uh, Abby's friend or our friend Christina gave to me for Christmas. 
So um, I believe the other stuff that I got with that gift card have already arrived. This is the last one. So that was partially a gift and uh, one of the games I needed. So I opened up all the rest of these smaller packages. A bunch of these are from GameStop. They were doing a sale the other night. Um, it was like four games that are 20 bucks or less for $40. So they were 10 bucks a piece. So we got Runbo Deluxe Edition and Hotline Miami Collection. We have Sonic Lost World for the 3DS, Rune Factory 4, New Super Mario Bros, Kirby Triple Deluxe, and Star Fox 64 3D. And then from Extra Life Games uh, in Kansas, from their website, picked up a Game Boy player with the disc. From another game store, from Anubis Games and Hobby in, well, it doesn't say where they are, but Mario Maker for 3DS. Uh, New Super Mario Bros, Mario 64, Mario Kart 7, and Smash Bros. And then GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, Scars, and Star Wars Episode One Racer. From another place for my collection, picked up uh, Space Invaders, which is a really, really nice complete copy. But then Wings 2 got a big rip on here and some like sticker residue. And this is listed as complete, but it does not have a manual. So I'm gonna contact them and see about getting that fixed. And then in three of the packages were, they were just all manuals. And I've been kind of on a kick of, you know, to get all the manuals for the boxes that I already have. And I, I already found a couple of duplicates that I accidentally ordered because I ordered a bunch of these on the same night from different places. So I accidentally ordered a couple duplicates, but and I'm not going to go through all of these. There's too many, but these are all for uh, NES, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. But these are all manuals that I needed to complete boxes I already have in my collection. So, like I said, we're not gonna go through all of them, but there's a ton of stuff in here. Some good titles, some, you know, filler, not so much. But there are a couple really good ones. Um, Aerobiz. SOS, the probably most expensive one out of the lot. Time Slip. There's some cool stuff, so I'm really, really happy with that. That is actually most of the manuals that I needed. And just from opening them, I already noticed duplicates. So these are gonna be sold here in the store. And then uh, onto the giant packages. Here's the rest of all the stuff, guys. We have these little Sailor Moon figural bag clips. It's a little blind box thing. We got a restock on this figure because we've, we've had that before and it sold out. Uh, we have a new My Hero Academia one. That's what it looks like on the top there. And then we have a bunch of the Sonic the Hedgehog backpack plushies. So these are the ones that have the straps and you can like unzip the head. Um, we didn't get Sonic because they didn't have any in stock and we've had Sonic before, but hopefully these ones are popular. We also got some more Sonic plushies here. These are the little like clip ones. Like I guess we would call them like a backpack dangler kind of thing. Uh, we have some Inuyasha plushies. There's more than just, there's more of these than just what's here. That, that box is full. So there's five of these total. These plushies, however, we only have one of each because that's all they had. So we have the sleeping Pikachu, which is adorable, really like fuzzy. And then the Charman the Charizard, not Charmander. He's got one eye open on that side, but he is adorable. Look at those little crossed arms. So uh, only one of each of those. We might be able to get more in the future, but that's all they had when I placed the order. They came in a came in a two pack and they only had one available. We have a bunch of Sonic the Hedgehog like bendable figures. They call them bendums. Uh, we bought one case, which comes with, I guess, six Sonic ones, two Robotnik ones, two Tails, and two Knuckles. Uh, then we also got the some Sega Saturn model kits, which are kind of cool. Um, so you can put the whole thing together. That's what it looks like when you're done. So we have three of those and we have 10 or maybe even more of these Ho-Oh model kits. And these come from the distributor that we don't, we're trying not to really buy from anymore because uh, the prices are just too high. Um, but I purchased these, well, I placed the order for these a long time ago. Um, so they, they, whenever they release them, that's when they ship them and charge us. So we still have more things coming from them, but not really planning on placing many more orders from them. We have three of these uh, Hot Wheels Super Mario uh, five packs. It is sealed at the bottom right there. So I'm not gonna open it, but that's what they look like. 
So you get all five in one pack. We have another figure here. I don't remember what it is from. Espresso? Es Espresso? I don't know. It said it in the... Oh, wait. I don't know. I knew when I placed the order, because it's in the title, obviously, but now I can't remember. And then lastly, we have these really awesome Avatar Last Airbender uh, statues, figures. Those ones are super cool. He's like a bronze um, kind of like color scheme. Really, really awesome. So we're going to be opening one of those, opening one of those, and then opening one of each of those to put them into our display cabinet. And so we'll have one. So I only got two of those. So one's going to be basically new open box. The other one will be completely sealed. And, uh, oh, and then lastly, we got some Pokemon figures here. I bought one case of these, so it included all of these here. If they have, seven, seven. So they all have the same UPC code. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be putting them in the system as individual things. Like you're not gonna, it's not gonna have like the Halucha listing, then the Absol listing. It's gonna all be under one because they have the same exact UPC. So um, if you come into the store, obviously you can pick out what you want. If you order these on the website though, consider it a blind box. Question of the day, Kyle. What is a gaming goal you have for 2023? Um, well, one of my goals every year is to beat a new Final Fantasy game that I haven't beat. Um, Final Fantasy 16 comes out this year, so I'm probably going to beat that one. But I also want to play through Final Fantasy Crisis Core Reunion, because that just came out. So it's going to be one or both of those. Nice. Mine's pretty simple, just to play more games, because last year... I can play a lot compared to usual. So, more games, more of them, and more time playing each one. Beating more games, too. And 100% more games. I, my gaming goal is to, I don't know if this is like a gaming goal, but like stream more. Yeah. So, <clears throat> streaming more, and then like, I wanna be. I haven't beaten I haven't beaten Assassin's Creed Origins yet, but I want to beat Origins and Odyssey this year. Nice. Um, my gaming goal this year is I have a huge backlog of PS5 games to get through, uh, as well as Steam games, and I should play those instead of buying new games. No, always buy new games. Yeah, but then it just creates a bigger backlog, and then I just don't play any of them. Yeah. <laughs> My goal is to, of course, play more games as well, but specifically, I want to beat Banjo-Kazooie and Paper Mario for the 64. I've started both of them, but I haven't played too much, but I want to beat those two and then just play more. <laughs>